much plastic! My name is Ivy Schlegel. I'm a research specialist at Greenpeace. And today, I'm going to take you on a tour of all the groceries and all of the plastic packaging that I found at my local grocery store. And we're gonna look at all the labels and find out the real truth behind labels like recyclability, biodegradable, and compostable. Some of these are flat out deceptive. Some of these are confusing to consumers, but technically they're allowable by law because they have all the right words in there. And that's really just greenwashing. One of the first things I got was coffee pods. It has a recycling symbol, but there's a bunch of writing on it. Not recycled in all communities. That is true. We found out through our research last year that around less than 1% of Americans have access to recycling for polypropylene coffee pods. The problem is that just because something is recyclable does not mean that it is actually recycled. Of all the plastic that's ever been produced in the world since the 1950s, only 9% of that has ever been recycled. That is such a small amount. One of the things that's really confusing about the recycling arrows is it suggests a continuous constant loop. And in fact, the majority of the plastic that is recycled gets downcycled into something of lesser value. So things like textiles or plastic lumber, and that's not really addressing the problem, which is runaway production of plastic packaging. These, yeah, so these are compostable cups. So the label says they're non-toxic, they're compostable, they'll break down in months, not millennia. A cup like this will probably not degrade in a home composting system. What compostable plastic means is it's a type of plastic that can is designed to be broken down in a industrial composter. So that's a composting system that has extremely high heat and high humidity. If it's not anywhere near where I am, when I have this party cup in my hand, I am probably just gonna put this in the trash. When I read this label too, it says it's made from plants and I looked in the back and it says they're made from corn and that's promoted as something good. So the way corn and other industrial crops is farmed is incredibly harmful to the environment and carries huge greenhouse gas emissions. So this type of farming is not environmentally sustainable. It's really not even an ecological solution for food, much less for throwaway packaging like this. All of the world's biggest food and beverage companies and personal care companies, they have heard from their customers directly that they are not happy about the amount of plastic in the environment, yet they continue to make an increasing amount of their products wrapped in plastic packaging. So there's a lot of motivation for them to put these kinds of labels on products. So all of the plastic from the way it's produced, from that oil and gas drilling, and um, the carbon it releases when it's littered into the environment, these are all things we can't ignore. There are so many small business owners, restaurant owners that have come up with creative ways to use less plastic or no packaging. Companies are making different kinds of reusable cup systems and carry your own straws and different kinds of services that really try to imagine a world that doesn't have so much plastic in it. I find that really exciting. If small businesses can do it, all of these companies with a lot of money and resources should be able to do it too.